for me, I think the sustainability of my efforts as minister in this role is focused on two areas distinctly. Firstly, why do we need to end and why do we need to prevent gender-based violence? It goes far beyond the human rights imperative. The human right to dignity and to live a life free of violence is important, and a lot of people fought hard for that recognition. But for our government, and I'm sure for all the people in this room, there is an economic imperative at stake here too. The greatest barrier to addressing the wage gap is inequality. The greatest barrier to achieving equality for women and gender diverse peoples, we believe, is gender-based violence. And so that's why we need to tackle it. And that's why we need to work hard to ensure that Me Too, as we've heard, is a phrase that eventually over time is no longer used in this context.